Today, I'm going to show you guys how to install the SV06 5015 fan upgrade. So before we jump into the video, I just wanted to add this little preface here that this video is reusing part of the video clips from our version one video. Since the version one, we've made a number of improvements to the duct, including making it a single adapter plate for both the SV06 and the 06 plus and a completely new redesign of both the plate and the duct. So if we look at our design here in Fusion 360, we have our new base plate and we have our new duct. Now the new duct, if you notice here, actually has multiple channels and you'll see there's actually three pathways air can get through. And that's because we actually have a third rear duct in addition to the two front ones. So this is a completely new design. And the cool thing is this mount actually has a ton of adjustments. So we can move it this far up or this far down. So we have a total range of motion here about 14 millimeters. So this allows us to have a lot of height adjustment depending on if you have the SV06 or the SV06 Plus. So both of these printers can go ahead and use the same plate. The other thing we did is the nut capture on here is sized as perfect as we can get. So you can just drop the nut in there instead of having to force it in and pull it in. And if you notice, we also thickened up the part. So it's a lot more durable and it's also easier for us to print because these can now be printed in place with no supports. So with that in mind, go ahead and watch the video. The only thing I will note is that we did reuse the disassembly portion from the version one video and the fan wiring and final test video from the V1. Other than that, both these ducts go together basically the same and actually use the same hardware kit. We are now shipping the version two ducts. So if you purchase a kit from us, you will receive this new version two duct. All right, back to the video. Our SV06 5015 fan upgrade kit works on both the Plus and the regular SV06. So we're going to be replacing the stock coin duct with this upgraded one, and we're going to be splicing in the 24 volt 5015 fan. In the screw kit, there are two different size of M3 screws. The Plus uses the M3 by 25 length, and the regular SV06 uses the M3 by 20 length. So I have my SV06 Plus sitting here to the left. We're going to go over removing the stock cooling, and then we're going to be splicing the fan wires in. So let's go through getting the old cooler off. We're gonna go over splicing in the wire from the old fan to the new one. And then we're gonna mount everything up to the printer. Go ahead and raise the Z up. So we have some room to work under the hot end. The fan we're replacing is the layer fan right here. And this comes off with two screws here and two screws here. So let's go ahead and take the stock fan off. I'm using a 1.5 millimeter hex bit So as you can see here, the fan is now removed. There are two more screws under here to get this bracket off. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the two screws that hold the stock bracket in. They'll need a 2.5 millimeter hex bit. Go ahead and unplug the stock fan. On the rear of the carriage, go ahead and remove these two center screws. Again, we're gonna be using a 2.5 hex bit. In the hardware kit, you'll see there are two different length M3 screws. The shorter one is for the regular SV06, the longer one is for the Plus. I'm going to be using the longer one since this is a Plus model. Before you install the screws, go ahead and put one of the included M3 washers on the screw. We're going to do this for both of them. So with the washers on the screws, go ahead and put them through the little holes on the side of the bracket and into the back of the carriage. Then on the fan duct, go ahead and drop the M3 nut into the nut capture here on the inside of the bracket. Put your finger over the nut and put it up into the bracket here. Take the M3 by 12 screw with one washer and put it through the hole into the nut. You should be able to feel the nut move when you push the screw through. Go ahead and just snug it up. We will need to adjust this later to set the height of the duct. Take your 5015 fan and the M4 bolt, put the fan into the mount, 
and then put it through both the mount and the duct and into the fan. Take the M4 nut and put it on the bolt here. Now, before we tighten this and this up, you want to make sure you get the duct at the correct height. If you loosen them up, you can adjust the duct left to the right. And you want to make sure the center of the duct is in line with the nozzle. So basically, the center of the duct here should be lined up with the nozzle. So now we have the center of the nozzle aligned with the center of the duct. Go ahead and tighten these two screws down. And now we need to set the height. Basically, the duct should be a little bit higher than the nozzle. To adjust the duct in the vertical direction, you need to make sure that this is not tightened down and loosen this up a little bit. With these loose, you should be able to move the duct up and down. So you can set the height of the bottom of the duct to the nozzle. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that now for my machine. And go ahead and tighten the screws up. And just like that, the fan is mounted in there and the duct is all tightened up. At this point, we're going to need to solder the end from the old fan onto the new one. So now we have all the bolts tightened down. Last thing we need to do is splice this cable into the stock fan wire. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the wire off the stock fan. Now we have the plug here. Go ahead and cut the wire on our fan that's included. I'm going about halfway here on the cable. And now we're going to attach this to this wire and I'm going to be soldering this and putting heat shrink on it. When you strip these wires, be very careful. They are thin. If you are using heat shrink, don't forget to go ahead and put it on before you solder. You can also twist these together and use electrical tape if you like, but we highly recommend soldering things. Go ahead and solder my wires now. Make sure you're matching red to red and black to black. Now the wires are soldered. I'm going to go ahead and slip my heat shrink over. And then we're going to hit this with a heat gun. Then we need to just plug this back into the control board. Now when we route the wire, we want to make sure it's not going to get caught in anything. So if you have extra wire, you're going to want to go ahead and just kind of zip tie it up. The plug for the fan is right here on the corner. You're going to want to put it in with the little metal pins facing the front of the printer. If we look on the back, there are no metal pins. Go ahead and just make sure it's pushed in fully. And as you can see here, I have some extra wires, so I'm going to go ahead and just zip tie this in the back. And just like that, our upgrade is done. So again, you want to just make sure that these ducts are not hanging down lower than the nozzle, otherwise they'll hit your prints. I'm going to go ahead and plug my printer in, and we're going to tell the fan to turn on to make sure it works. Again, double check that you have red to red and black to black before powering the printer on. Okay, I'm going to tell it to turn on. There's air coming out of the duct, and you can see the fan is moving. We've got the 5015 fan installed on our SV06 Plus now. Some of the benefits of this upgrade is you're going to get a lot better cooling on your prints, meaning your overhangs are going to come out cleaner and just an overall general cleaner print experience because of the improved airflow. One of the big advantages of these ducts, aside from the excellent cooling, is that you can use standard nozzles on your SV06 or SV06 Plus. So if you have an SV06, you can use what are called the MK8 style nozzles, which we do carry. And if you have the SV06 Plus, you can actually use standard Volcano nozzles, which we also carry. This opens up a whole new world of nozzles to your printer, whether that's 
really high-end copper-plated ones like our Easy Flows, or even just cheap brass replacements or even hardened steel replacements that are also cheaper and easier to get than the proprietary SV06 style nozzles. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was clear and concise, and I wish you guys many successful prints, and as always, happy printing.